Hey, welcome to B&B RV. We're in Denver, 8101 East 40th Avenue. Today we're going to walk around the Sequence by Thor. It's built on the Ram Promaster chassis. Uh, we'll walk around the outside here and show you. We're here on the lot. We're plugged into electricity. You can see how that would be if you're at a campground where you're plugged in. On this one, you've got the entry door and you have fuel. This is just a regular Dodge Ram, so regular unleaded gasoline. We'll do the inside here after we go through the outside. Your electric is right here. Got a plug in for it that goes right to the 30 amp plug in in the campground. This cord plugs in here, plugs in there. When you leave the campground, you're just going to roll this cord up and store it. And if you're going to plug into cable at the campground, that plugs in here at the cable. So we'll include those things in your rental. You'll have a cable if you want to hook up the cable. You have the water hose, dump hose. You'll have toilet paper and chemical for your toilet as well. Out here is where your sewer hose is going to store. So your hose is in here. What you're going to do on this one is pull the hose out. So this is just stored and you pull it all the way out. And you bring it back here and you put the hose on there. Put the hose down into the dump. And then on this one, you've got the uh, both valves here in the back. So it's going to be easier on this one to come to the back. And this one right here is your black valve and this one is your gray valve. I'm just going to pull those straight out to dump. When they're, so dump that black tank first. That's your toilet. The gray tank is your sinks and showers, so it's a little more soapy water that will kind of rinse your hose out. And then take your hose off, put the cap back on, and store your hose back into the uh, storage compartment. There's two places to hook up your water hose. This is if you're going to use city water. So it says city fill, but it doesn't actually fill anything. It's city pressurized water. If you just hook it up here, you just have water, pressurized water like you would at home. If you want to fill your onboard tanks, you hook up your hose here to fill the tanks. This is just the back of a, a furnace. You can hook up your hose here to rinse out your black tank. So your holding tank for the toilet, if you hook a hose here, that will spray into that black tank and rinse it out for you after you've dumped it. This isn't something that you have to do every time. It's not a bad idea. In that tank, you're going to have just little screws that are put into the side of the tank that are sensors. And so when those solids, toilet paper and such comes into the toilet, sometimes that toilet paper will hang up on one of those screws. So when you dump your tank, your gauge inside's not going to show completely empty. And by hooking up the hose and spraying that out a little bit, sometimes that'll rinse it off, sometimes it won't. Uh, so just be aware of that's how those gauges work. Hey, I just dumped my black tank, but it says it's still a third full. Something's hanging up on that sensor and you can try to get that rinsed, but um, that doesn't always come off when you dump it. So on the back here, we have a bike rack that's included with these. There's also a rack on the roof and you'll see when we open this back door that there's a ladder inside. So you just loosen this clamp here and this comes down and these can slide so that your bike can go in and then this holds the bar on your bike so this just adjusts up and down to fit your bikes and then just lift this one up to come over and then this clamp also holds the bike rack and then this is access to the back of the unit but we're locked right now so we'll come back around Basically, this just opens up and you'll see the bathroom on the inside. When you close this door, just be careful that you're not standing on the inside because this, this rack will come up behind you. So be behind the doors when you close them. So on this side, if you have the electricity on, if you're plugged into electricity, you have the generator on, you have electricity. If you have electricity, you have the outlets on this side that you can use to plug something in here on the outside. This is just a quick release gas connection primarily for if somebody's purchasing the unit but you can have an RV grill with a quick disconnect you can't have a regular grill 
from uh, Home Depot or Target or somewhere. It needs to be specifically made for the RV because of the, the regulators already been on it. So it has to be that type of an RV uh, grill. And then on this side, we can uh, open the big door. And we'll check out the inside. Inside here, there's also a screen. So this screen can just be pulled to open to have your door open, but have a screen. And then uh, we'll check out the inside. Come on in. So up here in the front, this is a regular Dodge Ram um, van chassis. So the cockpit is pretty standard for the Dodge, your gear shift, your cruise. There's a button that you might not see in a typical unit, which is called emergency start. So this unit has battery for starting the RV and battery for running the house. If somehow you ran down the battery to start the unit, you can push the emergency start, connect it to the house battery, and get the engine started. Everything else with mirrors and windows, heat, a couple of outlets up here for charging. Um, everything else is pretty standard up here. You do have some storage overhead. Just be careful that what you put in here isn't going to come tumbling out on you. And uh, these seats will swivel around, so this will swivel around to be a part of the house once you park. And that's one of this is for. So there's a table in here. Just pick this up and tip it out. Be careful when you have this table out that you don't think you can sit on the end or lean on it. It's pretty sturdy, but obviously you can put a lot of pressure and torque on the end there. And then it easily just folds back up. There's more outlets down below. So it could use it as a workstation as well. So we include a couple of camp chairs with each rental. In the kitchen, you've got a microwave, you have a cutting board, a couple of drawers for storage your fridge. This is the lock for your fridge. Just press, press this over, open it like that. Push down to open. Right inside there's a little dial and that's your cold. Turn it all the way to off or all the way to colder or warmer. This is your uh, cooktop. Whoops, with these you lift this up and then these just sit right here to protect the uh, splashing and such. Put these back. You have to kind of lift these up to make them fold down properly. As you can see, they can be a little tricky. Pull that one up. There we go. And your sink, faucet, regular faucet, just like at home. Your windows here, you're gonna squeeze this together to open this. So when you squeeze this, you can just slide it open. And then this is your screen. This comes over top like that. And you have one of these over the kitchen here. And you also have one on this side over your sofa. The control panel is up here. And so this is an electronic control panel. Touch it to turn it on. And this top button here is your home button. It shows you the level of your tanks, your fresh water, your gray water, your black water. So your fresh water's full. This will come down as you use it, and the gray and the black will go up as you use it. This is your lights. So you can turn each light on individually, or you can go back to your lights and turn all the lights on or all the lights off. This is your water pump switch. So turn your water pump on for using the toilet, shower, faucet. Um, and this is your climate button to turn on your AC or turn off your AC. It's a hot day here today, so we're gonna leave this AC on. Hopefully that's not very loud on the video. There's, you can go down to the raindrop to get to your water. This tank heater is for cold wintertime use. That will heat the tanks, your holding tanks for your gray and black. But you really need to be plugged in or have the generator to use those. They do use a lot of power out for batteries. Um, 
This does have an awning, but we don't allow the use of the awnings on these vans because um, there's just too much damage that happens. And even if you're careful, that can happen. And we don't want to charge you for something that is a little bit unavoidable. So we don't allow the use of the awnings. The little thermometer there gives you your climate control, tells you what's currently the temperature inside, what you have the uh, thermostat set at, the mode, and the fan speed. This one is your lights, just like we had from the home. This is your generator and your battery. So you can turn your generator, start or stop your generator here. It'll tell you coach battery, which is the house battery, chassis battery, which is your starting battery for the car. It tells you what the voltage of those is so you can keep track. And it'll tell you the level of your propane tank, which in this particular one says it's currently full. And then the next one is a vent. So you have an automatic vent here that you can run through here um, just to open it. It says kitchen and bath. This only runs the kitchen fan. The bath fan is a smaller fan that will show you how to operate back there. So this, if you want to use the exhaust fan here, you're just going to hit the raise button and then it's going to raise and turn on and then hit the lower button to shut it back down. Um, there's uh, an A1 which you won't use. PA would be for pairing this. If you wanted to download the app for this BM Pro, you could download the app on your phone. You could pair this to your phone and then you could operate some of these things through your phone if you'd like. Um, and then the last one is OF for off, if you're just turning this connection off. And so that's how you run the control panel. There is a TV here, and in the cabinet above is a DVD player, a remote. And in this compartment, you have um, an antenna boost. So this little green light, there's a tiny little switch next to it. That's off, that's on. So that TV antenna boost is used if you're going to uh, use this with an antenna. If you're gonna use it with the DVD player here or cable, then you wanna have that antenna boost off. This Truma system, that's your furnace and your hot water. So what you do is you push this black button in to get to the menu. The little flashing RV is the temperature that you want for your furnace inside the motorhome. So you would click that and you'd say, okay, I want to set that. It's currently off. And you can see that you can just set it to whatever degrees you want. Um, and then back all the way down to off. If you push this button again, we go back to the menu. The next one is your hot water. And again, if you select the hot water, you can again set that to um, so it's off eco which is where we recommend that you leave it uh, eco is the most user-friendly version and gets the temperature right hot is typically too hot we don't recommend that and boost would be to get a quick start <coughs> to heat it up quicker so we recommend leaving that on eco we're going to turn it off for right now press the button again and then you've got your fan, which you can set to be uh, on uh, the vent or off. That of this particular unit, you're going to just leave off. The next one over here is a timer. So if you said, "Well, let's go out for a hike and let's have this thing start at 4 p.m.," you can program this to do those things. If you want to go backwards, there's just a re return button right there and then the next thing is the clock and that's just setting your clock the final thing is uh, a wrench which is your um, press that for the wrench for some of the settings um, brightness 12 or 24 hours and we recommend that uh, you just leave that and don't change that for us so the primary things that you'll use here is the heat and the water heater. There's also a couple of USB ports in this cabinet for charging your uh, 
phone and such. This is a TV. There's a little chain here that you can pull to swing that out. That's connected to the DVD player. So here we've got your two sofas that also will fold out to be a bed here. So these units can be leaned up against the walls for cushions. These are two different cushions that are Velcroed together so you can have different cushions. Same here. This one to sit in between you with drinks and such. We have two seat belts on this side. There's no seat belts on this side. And then you have your storage under here. So these holes in the floor are made for these tables. So you can bring a table out. And you can bring a leg out. And just put this leg right here in the floor. And the table goes right on top. This is a new unit, so we haven't had this out yet. This table just sits right in top of here. And you have two of those tables back here for whatever you need to eat. And you can see this is a nice cushion. It's, it's got a new design. With these tables, these will lay in place to make your bed. So you have two tables, and then under here, you've got these rails. There's three of these. And you'll see on the back of these tables that there's a rail here. And so that rail's just going to fit right over top of this. So with, with these rails, you're going to slide these all the way into this holder here. And then that table is going to just lay on top of here. And then these cushions, these bigger cushions, they lay in the middle here to uh, create your bed. Then when you're done and you're ready to put everything away, these conveniently slide out of the way. You just stow your table. And you're off to your next adventure. These beds also have another feature. So if you're using this as a more of a sofa, this back piece comes up as more of a recliner and then you can use your angled pillow or your full pillow there as well. And then if you lift that all the way up, it just goes back down and unlocks. So all the way in the back of the unit, we have the, the bathroom and some more storage. These are the back doors that we showed you from the outside with bike rack hooked to it. And this is a curtain that you can obviously close up for privacy. You've got a lot of storage back here with cabinet and a couple of drawers. And on this side, you've got the regular toilet goes into the dump. This flips down. You've got a sink here and your shower is up here. And so we close this door, you've got the drain, you're all enclosed here once you slide that uh, curtain around and it'll go around both sides here. When you're finished here, you again just flip up the sink and you've got a light that you can turn on and off back here as well as up there. And then you've got this fan. So this exhaust fan, you simply push the, va the, uh, the vent itself, the lid up and that's an exhaust fan that can be shut off here or with this fan light or fan switch over here. When you're done, you simply pull that down to, to close that again. And these two doors have little um, bungees basically to hold those shut. So be sure to bungee those when you're driving so they're not flopping around. This is the Thor sequence, um, our new van in the fleet this year. We're excited about it. Thanks for watching our long video and my long hair. And this is still COVID time, so I'm in a haircut. You get the uh, Hollywood version. Thanks.